Here's your Carpenter Square Theater new venue renovation video update for December 31st, 2022. I'm Rick Allen Lippert. But before we give you this update, let's take a quick flashback three years ago, just before the pandemic. The demolition is done. See this dumpster over my shoulder back there? That holds the last of the debris that Ben Hall and his guys and myself have taken down in this warehouse at Reno and Western. We're now ready to start the build out as soon as we get our permits from the city, which we'll be doing in the next couple of weeks. Since then, we've installed the sewer lines. We power washed the whole place top to bottom even solvent washed the floor, and we've sealed the floor. We've replaced every sprinkler head in the whole building. We've built walls, installed electricity and plumbing, built the seating tiers and stage, hung the lighting grid, created storage for furniture, as well as for props and costumes, remodeled the offices in the front of the building, built a rehearsal studio, dressing room, bar area, break room with laundry, and an art gallery. And did I mention the cinematic style eight channel surround sound system? Yeah. Or how about the extra leg room with drink rail and purse hooks? Or how about the heat and air system that incorporates the latest theories of indoor air quality in the post COVID era? We've passed our final mechanical and electrical inspections, and we're getting ready for our final plumbing inspection. And once the fire marshal gives us the go ahead, we should be getting our much coveted occupancy permit. Now, we'd love to be able to give you a definite opening date, but right now we just can't. I can tell you that the first play in our new place will be Steve Martin's first play. It's called Picasso at the Le Pen Agile and it's set in an early 1900s Paris bar where a very young Pablo Picasso meets a very young Alfred Einstein. It's a really funny, absurd comedy. Executive Artistic Director Rhonda Clark has resumed rehearsals, which is a pretty good indication that we're getting ready to open. The first exhibit in our new gallery will feature the work of renowned artist Suzanne Mears. Her stuff is colorful, somewhat whimsical, and incredible. Now we've held off on making the permanent cast of thousands sign that will hang right here in the lobby gallery. So there's still time to get your name on it if you don't already have it there. This would also be a great time for you to make your first major donation of the year to your favorite nonprofit community theater. 2023 will definitely be a happy new year for Carpenter Square Theater. This has been your Carpenter Square Theater new venue renovation video update for December 31st, 2022. I'm Rick Ellen Lippert. We'll see you really soon at the theater.